You do it also like fast. I'm like, hi, I'm Jazz. Cut. I am 14. Cut. Burp. What's the matter? No, thank you. Hey everyone, it's Jazz, and today I have a special guest. Hi everyone, I'm Raven Broad, and my voice just cracked. Perfect for a video about high school. Yes. <laughs> This video is going to be all about high school and some of the struggles you might face in high school if you're an LGBTQ youth or if you're different at all. And you know, I'm approaching high school and I'm a little bit concerned because it's going to be different than middle school. Maybe better, maybe worse, but I have Raymond here to talk about his own experiences. So, start us off. Start us off talking a little bit about high school. Well, I think that high school is such a exciting, it can be scary time, but you really grow up. There's a lot of milestones when you go into high school and you learn so much about yourself, you develop friendships that can last a lifetime. It's just a lot of first. It's one of those kind of periods in everyone's life where a lot of changes are happening. I mean, you're physically growing up, like your body's changing. My main concern is like the social aspect of everything. Like right now in middle school, I know things are as someone who's part of the LGBTQ community, one of the best things that you can do is to share your story and to be visible and to talk to people because if someone knows someone who is LGBTQ, they're more likely to be supportive. I already have a TLC show. There you go. And hopefully everyone in your high school is going to watch that show. Yeah. They're going to realize, A, that you're amazing. Oh, they're going to realize that you're a normal teenager just like everyone else mm -hmm. and that your family is just like their family. Yeah, and that, that's the main reason why we're doing the show is to help normalize the fact of being transgender and show, especially kids in my school, that being transgender is okay and hopefully they'll be more accepting to becoming my friend and they'll understand that I am just Jazz. Yes. Knowing you, Jazz, you're such an amazing person. You're so fun. The fact that someone wouldn't want to get to know you or would discount you just for the fact that you're trans, that's making me angry. Like, I'm ready to walk up into that high school and, and have a sit down with these people. I'm so grateful to have friends who are loving, accepting, and supportive and just really embrace me as the person that I am. You know, I do want to open up and make new friends as well, but it's it's a lot harder for someone like me. You just have to find some great friends who really love you for the person you genuinely are. And that's what I'm going to do in high school. Find that good group of friends to build on from the group I have right now and I'm not going to associate myself with the people who are going to be cruel to me or say mm -hmm. nasty things. If they're going to judge me without really understanding the content of my character, then I'm not going to associate myself with them and whatever. I, I don't care what they think. Hurt people hurt people. If someone is being nasty to you because you're trans or you're different in any way, it's because they have their own pain and just trying not to let it impact you. Although I've been called every name in the book and I got teased a lot when I was in school and I know how painful that can be. That's something I'm really passionate about you know, helping people change because every moment's a new moment where you could change your perspective mm -hmm. on a certain opinion and you could really learn to be more accepting love is the answer. Mm -hmm. People who reached out to me who I went to middle school and high school with who have apologized and just said I was not kind in school and I was going through my own stuff and I was dealing with my own insecurities and I realized now how hurtful it is, some of the things that I said or some of wow. the things that I did. And so just kind of keeping in mind too that people can change. Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> really hope high school is okay. It will be. What are some of the other kind of unique challenges that transgender teens face in high school? When I was in elementary school, I was not allowed to use the girls' bathroom because apparently I was a boy oh. and it was terrible. I mean, they said I could only use the nurse's restroom, and, which was disgusting because we're vomiting, sick, bleeding, everything. And I often, you know, held in my bladder and had accidents and I, I, I would pee my pants. Well, also because my friends would tell funny jokes, but so <laughs> now at my school, you know, the staff is so accepting. I'm allowed to use the restrooms, the locker rooms, everything, play on the girls' teams and sports. But many other transgender kids out there don't have that support from their schools, and therefore they are, are banned from playing sports, are banned from using the girls' restrooms, locker rooms, and it's just terrible. Like. I, I just, I can't imagine walking into the boys' bathroom. Do I look like a boy to you? We'll put some links in the description below too for resources that if yeah. you're a trans teen and you're facing discrimination at your school or in your community, some of the things that you can do to make sure that you're treated fairly and equally. If you don't have that support from your family or friends or school, then some of these resources are great to find someone who just genuinely understands and is willing to help you. Through sharing your story, Jazz, and your show, hopefully that's going to wake people up too to the fact that they need to think about how we can make schools and community and sports teams more inclusive and accepting of trans teens. 
What about dating in high school when you're a trans teen? You know, a lot of my friends are starting to get interested in boys, and you know, as everyone's pairing up, it's kind of like, ah, what about me? I'm, yeah. all, I'm all alone here. No. <laughs> it, it's, it, you know, I'm not really one of those girls that's like obsessed with boys, mm. but you know, it'd be great to know that there's a boy out there who really just loves me for who I am. Whoever ends up with Jazz is lucky. We want love. We want love. It, it can take a while for people to really understand their. Mm. Sexuality, and for me, it's still something that I'm exploring. So I don't know if I'm fully attracted to guys or girls. No, I'm still learning. So yeah. I'm not going to say anything is set in stone. That's what being in your teens. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Is just exploring and figuring out who you are, and talking about it with people that you care about and that you trust. And there's no rush for you to define who you are. Here is some of Jazz's words of advice. I think you should be open to possibilities and you should really explore yourself and learn who you are. I mean, open up to the new options, try new things, new experiences, and I want to have fun in yes. high school, but you know, academics are important it's too. Very right? important it's not just it's not just about social. So Jazz's words of advice today, explore but focus. Mm, I like that. Ooh, yeah. I need some more jazz words of advice in my can you just like pop up with your words of advice in my life? So bye everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Raymond's channel. And comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And make sure to watch Jazz's new show. It premieres July 15th on TLC, and then it'll be every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. I'm so excited to see it. And me too. <laughs> thank you again for coming by, Jazz, and talking high school. Wish me luck in high school. <laughs> You're gonna be great. <laughs> thank you for everything. Of course. Aww. Bye everyone. Bye.